there are certain dates in history that all of us remember, if we're old enough to remember those dates at all, and they, they differ among us. Uh, I, I remember Pearl Harbor itself. I was in eighth grade uh, in school then, and it was a very important event for me, and it was an important event for my older friends who expected to go off someday in uniform. Uh, depending on your age, uh, you might remember other events. Uh, for example, the assassination of John Kennedy uh, or the uh, assassination of Martin Luther King uh, or to bring in the events even closer to our time in history, 9-11, uh, uh, 2001. Uh, there are all kinds of dates that stick in the mind and that we uh, keep remembering because they have an impact on our lives. Uh, I'm not going to talk about Pearl Harbor itself except uh, its aftermath. Uh, the book Pearl Harbor Christmas uh, is about what happened after Pearl Harbor. Uh, how different was the world and how different was the United States uh, after Pearl Harbor? What changes were made? Uh, was the holiday season in 1941, for example, any different uh, than it had been in 1940 or 1939 or uh, other years just before that in peacetime? This, to me, uh, tells us about the impact of the war. Did it make a difference in our lives immediately or did it take a while to do that? Uh, I was a collector then of bubblegum cards, largely baseball cards, uh, but uh, as quick as could be, the uh, bubblegum makers came out with war cards. And I brought with some war cards to show you, to give you an idea what I mean. Uh, I collected these when I was a kid. And one of them, one of the heroes of my book, is Winston Churchill. And he turns up uh, in the war cards. Another one, uh, less of a hero in my book, but nevertheless a, uh, a major figure in the newspapers, was General MacArthur. And he became so important in December 1941 because we needed a hero. And he wasn't much of one, but he was there in the Philippines. He became number one, card number one, among the war cards. Uh, so the, the war cards uh, taught us a lot about what was going on. And they also taught us a lot about what wasn't going on. Uh, soon after uh, Pearl Harbor, uh, the Philippines were invaded and then they surrendered very quickly. Uh, but since we needed a hero at the time, uh, a hero came around in the person of Colin Kelly. Uh, Colin Kelly, uh, who was pilot of a B-17 flying fortress that was shot down uh, over in Philippine waters just off the coast of Luzon. Uh, the story had it that uh, he was shot down after he had bombed and sunk the Japanese battleship Haruna. It turned out that he hadn't bombed anything, it hadn't sunk anything, uh, but his plane was shot down. Uh, when he tried to parachute out, uh, the parachute got caught in the wreckage as it was coming down, and he went down with the wreckage and was killed. Uh, he had a small son, and uh, President Roosevelt called the widow and the son to the White House, and he announced uh, that Colin Kelly Jr. Uh, would be given admission to, the, to West Point as soon as he was eligible to attend. And uh, of course, the wife got a posthumous medal for Colin Kelly. It turns out that when the war ended, the battleship Haruna was found in Kuri Harbor uh, in uh, Japan. It had never been sunk. Uh, so this is what happens uh, in wartime propaganda. Uh, you learn a lot that we have to unlearn later on. And the newspapers were full of misinformation because it was important that we not be despondent about what was going on at the time. Uh, things were bad indeed. And we had seven battleships, for example, sunk at Pearl Harbor. Uh, no one knew that. They knew about a couple of the battleships that had been sunk. Uh, but the reports were uh, made uh, a lot lighter than they really were uh, because it was necessary uh, for the Japanese, so the government thought, uh, to uh, make it uh, think, to have the Japanese ma made to believe that they hadn't done as much damage as they really had. It turns out, we were, we were too stupid to realize it, uh, that the Japanese had cameras aboard their planes that returned 
to their aircraft, aircraft carriers. And when my book opens, uh, I open with the uh, Japanese uh, leading newspaper in uh, Tokyo, the Asashi Shimbun, uh, publishing a picture showing the wreckage of Pearl Harbor taken from one of the airplanes. Uh, they knew what they had done, and they knew they had committed a tremendous amount of damage. Uh, but the damage, as serious as it was, uh, was not serious enough because they hadn't been able to uh, down any aircraft carriers. And the aircraft carrier, not the battleship, became the leading warship uh, of World War II. Uh, two of our aircraft carriers were at sea, the uh, Lexington and the Enterprise, uh, going out toward Midway Island and Wake Island, ferrying planes to defend those islands. And they were at sea when the Japanese attacked. Uh, the Japanese thought they had an aircraft carrier there. Uh, at least they looked down and saw what looked like one. The battleship Utah, uh, an old battleship that was really uh, an antique and not used anymore, uh, was covered with timbers uh, so that it could be used as a target ship. And we dropped bombs on it, dummy bombs, as a target ship. The Japanese saw what looked like an aircraft carrier. They bombed the hell out of it and it's still at the bottom of Pearl Harbor. If you go to Pearl Harbor now, uh, you can go out to the uh, little buoy and dock, uh, which is the scene of the wreckage of the Utah. It's not a big memorial like the one for the Arizona, but nevertheless, uh, it, it's there. So two battleships that were sunk are still at the bottom of Pearl Harbor and will remain there as memorials. Over a thousand men were trapped and died aboard the Arizona when it exploded. One other ship uh, that capsized uh, becomes important in my book. The battleship Oklahoma capsized and men were trapped below decks and were trapped in watertight compartments so that they survived for a while. It turns out that they were still alive, a few of them were still alive by Christmas Eve Remember, December 7th, the Christmas Eve. They were still alive, and we found that out afterwards when we righted the Oklahoma and found markings uh, that indicated uh, their scratching time uh, onto the walls that some were alive until Christmas Eve. It was not a very pleasant Christmas for them. They didn't survive beyond that. Uh, the Oklahoma, when righted, was towed toward California to be salvaged and it sunk again uh, in the Pacific. It has never been recovered. So uh, that's the end of another one of those ships. The war took a very bad turn immediately. We had no way to defend the Philippines. There was no way we could send troops or ships out to them because the Japanese controlled the seas. There was no way the British could defend their own colonies in the Far East. Uh, Malaya and Singapore. Uh, Malaya was immediately occupied by the Japanese uh, who went down the coast in bicycles. They didn't need tanks, they went down in bicycles or they went down on foot. And they overwhelmed the British who had far more equipment than they had and the British surrendered eventually and surrendered more men than the Japanese had landed on Malaya. Uh, Winston Churchill uh, after Pearl Harbor, uh, got in touch with the White House and asked if he could come and talk strategy with President Roosevelt. President Roosevelt really didn't want him to come that soon. He wasn't ready to talk strategy. We were surprised by the war. And he knew besides that Churchill uh, would want a Europe first strategy, defeat Germany first. When the public in the United States clearly wanted to defeat Japan. After all, it's Japan that had attacked us. And Hitler reciprocated. Uh, he told the German people, uh, we now have an ally that has never lost the war in 3,000 years. Uh, so he expected to win this one too. And he declared war on the United States. We did not declare war on Germany until they declared war on us. And that was a few days after Pearl Harbor. Uh, so we were at war with both Germany and Japan. Uh, not having uh, expected to be at war with either one. 
uh, on December 7th.